this lesson, we're going to cover the sketcher tool and how to extrude things. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new part. I have my working directory set, so a new part. And I'm just going to call this uh, extrude uh, practice. It's going to be my part name. And it brings up this kind of uh, this diagram here, and it has several different planes shown here. So you see all these planes, and if I go over top of them, it's going to highlight all of these. Now, you want to think about these planes as being like sheets of paper. So uh, you can draw on this sheet of paper called the front plane. You can draw on this sheet of paper called the right plane. And you can draw on this sheet of paper, which is called the top. So um, it doesn't really make a difference which one you start with. Uh, I normally start with either the top plane or the front plane. Uh, rarely do I use the right plane as my first um, uh, starting plane, but I'm going to select one of these. So I'm going to select top here. And once that's selected, I can then sketch on that plane. So imagine this is a sheet of paper and we're going to sketch on it. So I'm going to hit the sketch button. And from here, I get a bunch of different options. The simplest, right, is the line tool. And if I Let's say start at this point, I can draw a shape, whatever shape I want. And if I keep on clicking with my left button, um, it's going to keep drawing these lines here. And if I want to stop, if I'm done sketching with the line tool, I can middle click. So I'm going to middle click and that ends the sketcher tool. Now, as you can see here, if I zoom in, it's kind of hard to see. So if you want to view this sheet of paper like you're looking directly at the sheet of paper, there's a little button on the left-hand side that is Sketch View. So if you click this, it's going to rotate everything so you can actually see um, what's going on. Right? I'm still in the Line tool, so I can middle-click and get out of that tool. And if it shows in all uh, in this purple color, that means it's a closed loop. And now I can go back. If I want to delete something, I can select that line, left click, hit the delete button, right? And I can go around if I want to delete things, start over, I can delete, delete. So the delete key deletes everything. Uh, you can start out with a rectangle if you want. So a rectangle here. Um, and I middle click to end that tool. Um, but it also has tons of different tools. So it has the rectangle tool, but if you do the drop down, you can do slanted rectangles, center rectangle. That means the first where you click is going to be the center of that rectangle. Okay, and I'm going to middle click to cancel this. Oh, middle click, and I must have rotated here, so I'll go back to my sketch view um, and middle click again. And dimensions come up. Now, Creo defaults to inches, so usually we'll be working in inches, the English system. I'm going to just, this is huge. This is 363 inches. I'm going to just put this at 2 inches, which makes it really small. And then I'm going to double-click this and put it at 3 inches. Okay, and if I click that Sketch View button again, it should, uh, maybe it doesn't uh, zoom in. But if I have a bunch of different options up here. Um, I can go to fit to screen here. I believe that's what this one is. And it's going to zoom in there. And I can drag these to make them smaller, closer to the object. OK. So this is the sketcher tool. And these little things here tell you a little bit about these lines. So these, it's saying that these two lines are vertical. These two lines are horizontal. Um, and you can manipulate your uh, sketch this way. And before we get too far along, I just want to uh, end this sketcher. So I'm done sketching. I have a closed loop, which fills in with purple. And I'm going to just select OK. So if I select that, I have OK. All right. So now we've sketched on that plane. I can rotate by using my middle mouse button. and if we want to make this a solid, if 
we make this a solid. Right now, it's just a single plane here of a, of a rectangle. I can hit the extrude button. So if I hit the extrude button, and what the extrude button does is takes that sketch and pulls it out, pull, like it's pulling it out of the paper. So you can uh, hit this extrude button, and now you have this drag here, and you can drag it to whatever height you want. If you wanted a specific height, let's say I want it two, I can double click and hit two inches there. And now I have a block that's two inches. And to end this extrude, I just select OK up here. So there's our first solid object here. So on the left hand side, this is called the model tree, and it has our initial three planes here. It has our coordinate system, it has the sketch that we just created, and our first extrude. Now, if I want to go back and edit something, if, if maybe a dimension's not correct, let's say a dimension's not correct in our first sketch, I can click the sketch here, left click the sketch, and this little button here is the edit definition. So it has a ball with a little pencil, and if I click that, it brings me back to my sketch. And now let's say instead of three inches by two inches, I wanted to make it three inches by three inches. So I can edit that, and now we have a square here, and uh, we can see that if I go back to my sketch view. There we go. And if I OK this, it should update everything, and we should get a block here with the same extrude. Now, if I want to modify the height of this extrude, I would go to and left click the extrude here. And same thing, edit definition. And uh, let's say I want to make this 5 high now. So if I type in 5 there, I now have a block that's 5 high. So that's the beginning of the extrude, and you can always go back and modify things on your model tree over here. Now once we have that block here, we can go and sketch on any one of these planes. So it's almost like you're building from simple shapes. So you may start out with a rectangle, extrude that, and now you can put other shapes on top of this one. So you can select our original planes if you want or you can just select a surface. So I'm gonna select this surface, and I'm gonna sketch on that surface. Selecting the sketch view again, that's gonna rotate everything, so uh, we're viewing that sheet of paper directly on. And now I'm just gonna put a circle. And put a circle right in the middle, and then I'm gonna middle click to get out of the circle tool. And as you can see here, that's a little hard to see, but we have dimensions. So we can dimension this. Let's say I want to do uh, two inches and one inch over here. That specifies the location and our diameter. This little symbol here means diameter. The diameter of our circle is, let's say, three inches. Uh, that's a little too big. Let's go, let's go one inch. All right, so now we have a secondary sketch. I'm going to OK this sketch. And now we can extrude this circle. And we can specify how far we want to extrude this. So let's go three inches. And now we have this cylinder on top of this block. And I'm going to just select OK. Now on our model tree, as you can see, we have our original extrude, our second extrude, and we can go back and modify our second sketch if we want. We can modify the second extrude. Um, but in addition to adding to the, the objects on the screen, you can also subtract. So for example, instead of making a cylinder here, if I wanted to make a hole, I could go back into my extrude. So I'm going to edit definition of this extrude. And I'm going to pull this down until it goes into the part. Now, right now, it's just adding another solid on top of a solid. It's not going to do anything. But up here, there's a remove material button. If I select that remove material button, 
it's now going to create a hole. And you can make that hole as deep as you want it. So maybe we want to do three inches uh, down. So that, oh, I middle clicked, so that okayed the extrude. And now we have a hole inside of our part. Now you can rotate with the middle mouse button, but if you want to use select views, there are select views here. So if you want to view this from the top, you can select that. If you want to view it from the right hand side, you can do that. And our view display is right now set to shaded, but for some reason, if you want it transparent to see all the internal features, you can use wireframe. And that's just going to show the block with the hole in it, and you can see right through everything. But for the most part, I would guess you would use the shading button here. Um, it's the easiest to see everything. So that's a basic tutorial of how to use the extrude button.